Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I'm coming to you today with a super accelerated review of my brand new Emily wallet that you just saw my unboxing for. I put out a post on Instagram just saying that I'm really excited about it, I love it, I can't put it down and I wanted to review it for you already after one week of using it just simply because I think it's a fabulous item and I want to answer a few questions that there were out there for it. And I have a surprise present from a good friend of mine on here on YouTube, another YouTuber, has sent me a Louis Vuitton present and I love him so much for it, oh my gosh. So I'm going to uh, unbox that for you as well on this video. So let's get straight into it. So you guys knew from my unboxing that my Emily did come in this box um, the other day at the Bondi Junction store and it was an exchange and I picked up this amazing wallet. Yes, there is a lot of uh, looming questions about this wallet just like there is about the Marie wallet. This line has sort of got that um, stories, myths, uh, you know, negative stories, uh, horror stories and good stories behind it. It actually was the Louis Vuitton wanted to introduce a lower end uh, for SLGs so it's uh, in a lower price bracket or when they were first introduced they were in a much lower price bracket than some of the big long wallets, the Zippy wallet, the Sarah wallet, the Insulet wallet. The reason for that is the construction of this wallet. There is far less um, fusing and insulation, I guess you could call it. It's called fusing in the manufacturing world, so all of the reinforcement inside the wallet, there's far less of that in this line. That doesn't go to say that this isn't a strong wallet, it's just a little bit more, how would you, I wouldn't say flimsy, but it's far more pliable, like it becomes very malleable, it becomes very soft. Uh, then sort of, you know, a Sarah is much more structured, it stays like a very firm purse, very, uh, a very solid kind of item. And even though that would definitely be something that would deter you from the line because it is a little bit more, uh, I guess you would say flimsy or made up of thinner materials, maybe just the canvas and just the calf lining, that would deter most people. But honestly, that's really what drew me. I, I've always, always wanted to look into a Sarah wallet or a long uh, you know traditional type wallet that is more of a purse shape very like what my grandmother would have used to carry uh, But the Sarah is just so cumbersome and big and thick and when I saw this come out and I saw that it was quite thin and quite a uh, compact size long wallet, I really was drawn to this line. So the measurements for this wallet is seven inches in length, four inches in height, and around three quarters of an inch in depth on the side there, thus making the LV logos right way up on the front and upside down on the back. And up close, this says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. The day code is found up here at the end where the zipper pull finishes. Down on the inside here you can see my date code stamped there. To show you the layout again it has four card slots in the front. At the moment I'm actually using my zipper coin purse. There are coins down inside there. I'm not using um, an external clay as a coin purse at the moment. Um, so there are coins in there. You could put extra cards down inside here if you wanted to. Laying down like that and just zip up your coin purse if you wanted to put your cards there. Right now I have a receipt in the bigger compartment. I have one receipt from the shops. And then I have my gym membership cards. I have some other points cards. And then behind the hidden monogram pocket I have really all my extra credit cards that I don't reach for all the time but there's more laying down in the back there. In the deep back pocket is where I keep my cash. I store it flat. I'm a flat cash fanatic. So this back pocket is perfect for me for that because it all just fits down very nicely inside there. 
One of my main asked questions on the Instagram post was, do the card slots hold more than one card? Well, this uh, wallet is obviously only a week old, but I'm happy to trial it for you. So popping an extra card down behind that card there, that fits perfectly, and popping another card behind that card there, that fits perfectly as well. So there we go, in the end you definitely will be able to hold eight cards here in the front and that is super duper handy. Go over a few points, especially the button. My gosh, this is the number one uh, uh, issue, concern with this wallet, the Marie and the Josephine, my gosh, because look, the quality control with Louis Vuitton when this line first came out was a little bit shady, I've got to say. Really quite shady. But I'm pretty sure that if you get uh, you get on it pretty quickly and you start to notice that your button is rubbing, chipping or peeling or fading. If you get on that pretty quickly, say within the first year or so, I'm pretty sure after sales service will have to take care of that like under a warranty. If someone did want me to do a comparison of these two, I have got a few things to go over in this video so it may be a little long, but obviously the Marie and the Emily are just divine and the Marie is about half the Emily size so it would fit two Maries for the length of it. Moving on to a quick comparison against my Zippy Compact Wallet and Demia Ibin. Uh, obviously two very different wallets such as the fact that this is a press button closure and this is a zipper closure, all around zipper closure. Some people prefer this for full security Nothing is falling out of this wallet. Nothing falls out of it. It's obviously com completely secure. But one of the questions I did have is, does the button pop open? Well, the answer to your question, babe, is no. It doesn't just pop open. I love the all-around zipper feature of a zippy wallet. I think it is just divine, as I've told you in my review. But... For the change of a traditional star wallet, it's really, really nice as well. Another question out there on Instagram from one of my followers was a card holder comparison in these two wallets. Well, it's absolutely uncomparable. This holds 10 cards in the slots alone, let alone the fact that you can well double them up. There's not a problem. They don't slide out, nothing like that. And then it has two big returns there that you can add more cards. I mean, this is just an absolute card truck. It will hold so many cards for you without a problem. It won't be bulky or uncomfortable. Okay, for this next part, I've just popped the camera down on this angle so I can show you because these questions on my Instagram post ask me a lot about what fits inside of it. So the first question, was this back pocket question and does a phone definitely fit inside of it well this is my iPhone 5 and it just has a mercury thin case on it at the moment placing it down there it closes up very nicely and this is such a handy thing to be able to sort of have your phone in your wallet and run to the shops like that so that is a yes to the phone inside the Emily. Then I had the question, does a passport fit? Well, here is my Australian passport. I wouldn't put it in the back pocket like so because I know that will see that's just too tall. But I would put it in this middle large compartment like that where a few of my cards are. And it rides a bit high, but I know that the height of the Emily will cover that because there's some extra height so it can come over and button up still. So there you go, perfect as a passport holder if you are traveling. I actually did get asked on the Instagram post by a follower, does a checkbook fit? Well, this is an Australian checkbook. I don't know what uh, checkbooks are like overseas. Maybe they're a, sh a bit shorter, which would be good because this is incredibly long. If it was an inch shorter, it would fit. And again, it would probably fit inside that large middle compartment like so. And you could probably travel, carry your checkbook around like that. But obviously, Australian checkbooks are far too long to fit inside the Emily wallet. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do fits 
in little clutches. First up is my Mini Mac by Rebecca Minkoff. This is my Emily wallet and I'm going to see the fit. So placing it down on an angle like so, the mouth of this clutch bag isn't quite big so you would have to definitely uh, I guess you can't really rip it out in a rush because you'd have to do the angle maneuvering out of the purse but there it is down inside the mini mac and yeah it takes up a bit of space but grabbing uh, my clay again and putting that down inside grabbing my phone and putting that down inside as well you can just see hopefully there's my clay back there, my phone here, and the Emily there. That all fits nicely. And that's all I would need because that clay holds my keys. So there we have my Emily wallet, my phone, and my keys, and off I can run. So into the Eva. Again, sort of maneuvering it onto a side angle, but a little bit less than the Mini Mac. But there you are. I mean, really, it's just sort of the Eva ate my Emily. So as I showed you guys on Instagram over the weekend, I did get another clay down inside there. And then my keys, my clay with my keys inside of it went as well. And behind it, my phone. So that is how I carried it over this weekend just gone. You would have seen that on my Instagram. And it zips up perfectly. Here I just have it on the chain, I don't have the crossbody on it, but there you can see that is all inside my Eva and it was perfect, it really was, it was all I needed for the weekend, just travelling between my parents' house and running errands, doing things with my hubby, seeing my friends and it was absolutely perfect. So that brings me to the end of my review on my beautiful Emily wallet. I, look... We'll probably look at reviewing it again once I've used it and used it and used it. Maybe when I've used it for a year straight, I will review it. But after one week, boom, 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 my heart is in love with this wallet. Truthfully, I wanted a long wallet for so long and this has definitely made the cut. So now on to my super duper surprise. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. I cannot believe this. Another fellow YouTuber, and now he's my good friend Kevin. Do check him out here. His YouTube name is Louis V83. I will link his channel below. He's just so sweet. He wanted to send me a gift. He took a vacation to Hawaii uh, this past month. And he came back with a gazillion luggage tags. Do check out that video. I will also link that below. Uh, but one of them was a gift for me. And that is just the sweetest thing in the entire world. So I am going to unbox this uh, YouTuber gift on this video. Mwah! I love that. You are so sweet, Kevin. And thank you for thinking of me. So it came in this square uh, Louis Vuitton bag. It has Louis Vuitton written across the front. The Maison in Paris address underneath it. He had a card down inside there which was just so adorable. And out of the bag comes the box. It is a teeny little drawer box with Louis Vuitton written across the front. It opens like a drawer. And from out of it he actually put a little card. He wrote, I hope you like this gift. I had something special added to the back of it. I know Hong Kong is a place dear to your heart. Oh my god, that's so lovely. He knows that Hong Kong is like my second home and that is just so incredibly sweet. The translation is life love for the characters on the back. Ooh, interesting. So here is the dust bag. It has Louis Vuitton written across the front. It is a mini flat top flap dust bag. And from out of it, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Kevin, you're so incredibly sweet. He has gifted me a luggage tag in the Vachetta leather with the Hawaii hot stamp there on the front. Oh my god. And on the back, he's got these two Chinese characters imprinted there on the back in the gold hot stamp as well. Just for me. 
Oh, I love it so much. So there it is with the Hawaii uh, flower. So this is the hibiscus, I think, um, with some other little petals around it. It says Hawaii. Ha Hawaii. Oh, my God. Don't say that. You're Australian. It says Hawaii underneath it. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and it is absolutely gorgeous. He knew, oh my gosh, I'm. he knows I'm Vachetta obsessed. Oh wow, wow Kevin, that is just so lovely. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. What a gorgeous gift. Thank you for thinking of me and yeah. So wow, what a video. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video, uh, this review on the Emily wallet and a beautiful unboxing gift from my friend Kevin, Louis V 83 Check him out here on YouTube. He's actually doing a giveaway on one of these luggage tags as well. Uh, so check him out. He's just fantastic here on the Vuitton community here on YouTube. I hope every Everybody is doing really well. A thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Take care. Peace. I've always dreamt about